This is a tutorial on how to clean the safety valve on the instrument. This valve was designed to ensure that you have your lid on properly. If the lid's not properly seated, the valve will exhaust the chamber. This one here you can see is very dirty, been out in the field. It just needs a simple cleaning. The tools that we're going to just need for this task is um, a rag, a 9 16th inch a standard wrench, some petroleum jelly, and just some standard cleaner. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, just take the cleaner and um, spritz a little of that cleaner on there and, and just wipe the outside, get the outside kind of cleaned up first. Dirt is uh, one of the biggest problems with pressure chamber having problems in any difficulties. It's usually dirt related. We're going to take a 9 16 inch wrench, put that on there, just slowly turn that. It shouldn't be very tight. And unscrew the nut. Oh, let's go ahead and then uh, as you get the nut off, you can see the piston sticking up straight there. We just grab the piston, pull that straight up. Might have to wiggle a little bit. It could be, that one's pretty dirty. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to clean the nut and the piston, then we're going to lubricate it with Vaseline. So we're just going to use a rag and uh, get it kind of clean, clean each little part, just getting the dirt removed from it. This is something, depending on the time of, amount of usage that you use, it could be done something once a week or once a month. Not much usage, even once a year probably reasonable. Just wipe all the dirt out of that and the old Vaseline that's on that O-ring. Consequently, if this doesn't clear the problem, um, another option would be to replace the O-ring on there. And that O-ring size is generally a 006 Buna 70 O-ring. Size 006. And then you see he's just uh, turning that rag up in a little edge. Just kind of working that rag down in there to clean out all the dirt in there. If you have access to some compressed air, you can blow some compressed air in reverse through there. It kind of cleans out anything that might be left inside. Or Q-tip. It's good, another good thing you can put a Q-tip down in there. Now we're going to just take a little petroleum jelly. Don't need much on there, just enough to lubricate that little O-ring. Just a little bit to keep it moist and, and so it slides easily while it's in there. Slide that back in. Put the cap. Now this is important is that you don't over tighten this nut. It goes up finger tight, 9 16 wrench goes back on there and just enough to keep it snug on there. But it does not require it to be on there very tight. If uh, you're valve still leaks or still it won't cycle properly, you might need a new O-ring or uh, if you still have problems contact PMS Instrument Company.